Jacken or The Hunt, short movie review. Lucas is a fairly content 42 year old man. He is divorced and his ex-wife is not willing to let him spend more than every other weekend with his son, which both father and son are quite unhappy about, but she finally does agree, mostly because the son whines more than he seems like he should, considering he does appear to be about 15 years old. However, this... They get into problems when a child makes accusations of Lucas having sexually abused her at the kindergarten where he works. And as the movie progresses, the this story spreads and gains momentum and threatens to destroy Lucas's life. They are in a small village where everybody knows each other and yeah, it doesn't... It, it affects every area of his life. This is an immensely mature and intelligent film about the danger of the accusation and believing the accusation without question of child abuse. It is not a movie that calls, you know, victims of child abuse liars. It is a movie that says that sometimes things get misunderstood. And it's it, it can genuinely destroy someone's life just to be charged with abuse. It is not a movie that points fingers, it's very much, with, with the character development and the very, and, and the great acting and the dialogue, you understand everybody in this film, nobody is a bad guy, nobody is entirely a good guy. At first I feared that Lucas would turn out to be a Gary Stu, but over the course of the film he makes mistakes, he gets frustrated with the situation, he overreacts sometimes. And it's almost all very credible. It does, near the end, some things happen that you don't completely believe, and that takes a little bit away, but on the whole, it is entirely credible. The, there is a little bit of humor to break up the rising tension, and this works really well in not making it suffocating. Such as the uh, Lucas's dog, which barks at the mere mention of his ex-wife's name every time. That's, that's a bit of a running gag, it's, it's quite funny. And yeah, in general, there, there are some nice moments of humor. The acting is phenomenal. Mass Mikkelsen, give the man an Oscar for this movie. I, amazing. And all of the acting is like that. Thomas Boulos, who plays his best friend Theo, and the father of the daughter who made the accusation, he has to choose between who he's going to believe and who he's going to protect. His best friend since childhood, or his daughter whom he loves. And this is such an impossible decision, and he does phenomenal with it. Even the child actors do fantastic job. The, the daughter, the, the girl who makes the accusation, Clara, she actually has this subtle little nuance where she has a, she has a facial tick. I, th I think it's with her lower lip when she is asked to repeat the a accusation she made in front of a psychologist. To, to verify, and it's just, it's phenomenal. It's, it's really, really compelling the, the way they, they do that. And again, you, you really get the sense that she didn't do it to cause harm. She didn't quite understand what she was doing or what she was saying. And she doesn't know how to handle the situation. And yeah. We, we are talking about a kindergarten kid here. The, the movie is directed by Thomas Winterberg of Festner, the party I guess it's known internationally, and Submarino, and I think also Dear Wendy. 
so you know you're in for really hard-hitting, tense, emotional drama that's really gonna leave you with food for thought. And I would have to say he's made his best movie since Festen. And if at all you are able to, if, if you're if you're old enough to be looking into this subject and if you can handle emotionally being eviscerated by this eerily realistic tale, then I recommend you watch it immediately. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.